Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back. Today I'm participating in a collaboration and this collaboration is called DIY Challenge. This is a new monthly challenge that is open to all content creators and is being hosted by Heidi Sumbo. I will leave a link to Heidi's channel down below in the description box. Make sure you stop by and check her out. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating in this monthly challenge. We are to share Valentine themed DIYs on a budget. So I'm going to share with you three Valentine's Day ideas featuring Dollar Tree products. Let's get started. So I picked up four coffee cups from the Dollar Tree. And I also picked up some the stickers, Love, Live, and Laugh. And uh, they were a little water damaged, but I was just going to use the love portion of this sticker, so I purchased it anyway. So here's where I'm going to cut out the love sticker. So here I'm just arranging the coffee cups the way I want the, the centerpiece to sit. Now I'm going to take those stickers and cut them into individual letters because I'm going to put one letter on each coffee cup. I would have put a letter on each side of the center on each side of the cup so that the centerpiece would read love all the way around but they only have the one sticker and like I said that one was damaged but I bought it anyway because the word love was still good. So here I'm just measuring out how much I want at the top and the bottom of the stickers, trying my best to get them as centered as, as much as possible. And here I'm just cutting the Dollar Tree flowers off the stem. Uh, I measured about how much I needed so that they would sit inside the coffee cups.
So here I am just placing the flowers in the coffee cups and uh, I'm just arranging them and putting it an even amount of flowers based on color in each cup. I think that turned out so pretty. A really simple centerpiece. Okay, so I purchased the box bag. Not quite a box, not quite a bag. <laughs> and I added some stems that I got outside in the yard, attached the branches together. I placed some styrofoam in the bottom of the bag, and then I placed the branches inside. I got the glitter heart stickers and now I'm going to attach them to the branches.
I started out using Gorilla Glue, but realized it the adhesive on the back of the hearts were pretty was pretty decent. Uh, it won't last until next season. If you want it to last, then I would suggest you use additional glue like Gorilla Glue. And for a super easy and super quick Valentine's Day card, I took a piece of red cardstock and I placed it inside an embossing folder and I ran it through the die cut machine to get texture, to get the dotted texture onto the paper. And now I'm going to cut it down to size because I only just want that top portion there. I don't want the whole sheet. So I only needed that piece right there. So here I'm going to take my A2 card and put some adhesive on the back and attach it to a white mat, which is just like a quarter of an inch larger than an A2 card. I'm going to add some more adhesive to that strip that I embossed and I'm going to add that right down the front or right down the center of the A2 card. Now I'm checking for placement 
because I'm going to be using one of those stickers on the top and I just wanted to make sure I have the right spacing. That piece is a little long so I'll just trim that off. Something like a belly band. Trying to decide which uh trying to decide which heart I will use and once I made that choice I decided to place it right up there on the top and I placed it at a slight angle. I did not adhere it down at this point just in case I decide to move it. And here I'm checking to see if I could use some of those glitter glues from the previous DIY and I decided against that. And in that kit, in that card kit that I had, it had the word love. Um, And now that I have them where I need them to be, I can press them down. And just like that, I'm done. No, I think that's cute. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my DIY challenge featuring Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIYs. If you did, make sure you come back and tune in. I upload new videos every week. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And at the end of this video, click one of the links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!